Sometimes seeing is believing, and sometimes believing is seeing. It really depends on what you believe to be paranormal. Today we'll be going over a couple ghostly encounters, but before we get started, click that share button and send this to somebody who doesn't believe in ghosts. This video is brought to us by TikTok user El Kukui, and in this video, we have somebody who was in the National Suicide Force of Japan when they happen to film somebody standing behind them, who instantly teleports right behind them. Now, unfortunately, it's super zoomed in, and it's a super short clip. Now, it is very interesting, however, it doesn't guarantee it's real. My issue is it's super short, and on top of that, this is like a certain trend you see with ghost videos that come from Japan. It's almost like... They can just all teleport. It's a trope, unfortunately. It is very possible that he caught a ghost on camera. It's just not every ghost in this forest is going to be super malevolent, like, out of the grudge. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the most haunted places in Japan. All I'm saying is, this just kind of feels staged. But I could be wrong. Regardless, this is one forest you'd never catch me in. As interesting as it is. Oh, fuck, is it? <laughs> This video is brought to us by TikTok user TikTok Haunts. And in this video, we have somebody who hears a banging coming from seemingly no one because you can see them approach the window and there's nobody around. Now, there are kinds of clips like this on the internet where essentially it's knocking or banging from an invisible force, and first thing, never, and I repeat, never do what they did. Don't ever open the door if you hear knocking and no one's there. I mean, there's so many reasons, but let's go over the paranormal ones. One, it's knocking to be let in. It can't come in without your consent. By you opening the door, you consent to it entering. So now, whatever was out there is now in here. Now, this kind of spirit's not seen often, but if this truly is what it is, <laughs> they got a roaming spirit in their home now. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Unknown TV, and from the looks of this clip, we seem to have some paranormal investigators who happen to capture what seems to be a ghost in the snow. I brightened the clip, but essentially here where it zooms in, the two recording seem to notice a dark, almost shadow-like figure outside moving around the snow. I have zoomed in and put a filter on it, but there definitely is something out there, and it's dark, and it just kind of vanishes. So. Yes, this could be a shadow person or maybe some kind of entity. However, I don't like clips like this where it constantly cuts back to somebody giving their story. I'm talking to you and you don't see me on camera in five seconds waving my hands around. To me, that shit's just annoying. But regardless, it is an interesting clip. I'll leave it up to you to comment down below if you think it's real or fake, though. It's interesting nonetheless. Hey, cut the light. I swear I saw something move outside. And when I asked Colton to turn off the lights, I was not prepared for what we both saw. Hey, 
Cut the light. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. Do you, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? I don't oh, know, bro, it's start. moving. It's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, my oh God. dude. What the fuck, bro? I can't. I oh thought that was a shadow. God, bro. It, like, disappeared. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. You gotta understand, there's no lights out there. The only thing that we can see is the moonlight that's reflecting off of the snow outside. And right in the middle of the bridge, we both see what looks like a almost transparent black figure of some sort, just standing in the middle of the bridge. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like, outside. Something moved. Do you, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? There's just a figure just staring at us. It looked like it was facing us from on top of the bridge. Not moving, standing still. Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? We don't know what's showing up on the camera, his cell phone camera at all. We're just fixated on it. And then it turns around and it bolts. Dude, what is that? I don't oh, know. bro, it's, it's moving, it's moving. What the fuck is that? Oh, my oh God. dude. When it ran, it looked more unnatural than I've seen anything move. Hey. <laughs> this video is brought to us by TikTok user Jax Paranormal. And in this video, we have what seems to be fog or possibly a ghost caught on camera. Now, it's definitely a transparent mist, but if you look closely at the secondary figure, it almost looks humanoid. Now granted, it's a very short clip, and it is looped, so keep that in mind. I'm not saying it's fake, but it's very possible that it is either just a weather pattern, or an overlay of a clip, or even one of these edits like this. Again, not trying to be a hater, just trying to open everyone's eyes to the fact that things can be faked, and not everything captured on camera is fact. But what do you guys think? This is kind of an inconclusive clip, so I'll leave it up to you. Comment down below and share your opinion. Real or fake? This video is brought to us by TikTok user The Paranormal Queen. These are a couple of clips that have been strung together by somebody who lives in a really old apartment. The apartment dates back to the 1950s, and throughout the day at certain times, there are strange loud knocking noises being heard from what seems to be the closet. Or sometimes the doors open, as you can see in this clip. It doesn't matter how quick this person is, every time they get up to check, there's nobody there. So, personally, I think this is the real deal. Due to the fact that it's a very similar kind of activity in each clip, this is most likely a residual haunting, which is more or less a recording of energy that is played over and over again until said energy fades. This is the most kind of common occurrence of a haunting, in my opinion. They don't think I'm ever going to come to this shit. Listen to it. Listen to that. Jesus. I mean, this is my whole closet right here. My kitchen. And here we go with this shit again. We're just gonna wait and see how long it goes. It's never not. Stop! Okay, that works. Okay, so it seems to be wanting to happen now more in afternoon, but just to prove that there's nothing there. Jesus Christ. This is the cord in question, the coax cable, and it, you can see here, it goes directly from here down to my Wi-Fi. So I could, I guess, open it like this, but one, I would probably be in the way of the camera here since I'm standing here, but um, let's try and test this. Here's the door latched all the way shut. I mean, I'm pulling on that pretty hard and it doesn't come out. But if I were to do this and open it, 
that just kind of pulls the Wi-Fi back. So, I mean, if this cord was the thing that was pulling it, this probably would have knocked off. But, I don't know. Yes, absolutely we can, because I think everyone is obsessed with this and the fact that I do not have it secured. Uh, but as you can see, this goes to my modem, and that is all. It's an old building, so in front of every apartment, they've had to uh, drill holes and then feed these in through, you know, all this to kind of update it. But this building was built in 1932, and if you can't tell, hasn't really been updated too much since 1932. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Number six. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Slapped Ham, and this is one of the more infamous videos online, and not just because Slapped Ham covered it. In this clip, we have a young man by the name of Mario who's holding an animal in a store, and then out of nowhere, his middle finger just bends back to a point that's unnatural. I don't have a logical explanation for this, but if you pay close attention to his hand, his middle finger just kind of bends back almost all the way to the back of his palm. like, And you can see he's fighting whatever's doing it. There's no string. And I don't think he did this himself. This, this definitely looks like there's something forcing his finger out of place. Maybe a protective spirit thought he was harming this animal, and it decided to make sure the animal is safe. Maybe the animal's got powers. Regardless of what's happening, though, this is not normal. I'd say this is past an intelligent haunting and possibly into poltergeist activity, because there's definitely harm coming to a human. But, what do you guys think? Share your opinions down below, I'd love to hear them. And again closely, you can see one of Mario's fingers twist back violently. He looks to be in great pain as he tries to straighten his finger. Well my fearless fans, we did it again, we made it through another video. If you enjoyed today's content, maybe consider leaving me a comment, clicking that like button, clicking that share button, sharing it with at least three friends who don't believe in ghosts. And of course, if you haven't done so already, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can stay up to date with notifications for my latest uploads. There's always something scary happening here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.